Today's episode of Mob Rules is brought to you by three guys who are tired of all sorts of shit. Three guys, come on down and hang out. Dave often hangs out with three guys. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. Hey guys, welcome to Mob Rules. I'm something wrong with it. How come you keep telling me to take my pants off? I mean, it's auditioning. It's 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 what you do. <laughs> that is how it is done. Uh, I noticed you added a casting couch to this room. I'm a little, <laughs> I'm a little disconcerted. It is. It, is it, it is, weird? It's the only seat that was available for you to sit in. <laughs> is it weird? I removed all other furniture from the room. <laughs> it's um, weird that we're all sitting on it together. It's actually the problem. Cozy is a word. Yeah. Welcome to Mob Rules. I'm jo- John, joined very closely to my left hand side by Dave. And Danny. And Danny. I mean, to fr- the further left. Yeah. To the fr- no, 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 that's to the right. It's just a John, you, it's oh, a John your, sandwich. No, no it's not. Pain. It's a Dave sandwich. <laughs> um, as long as you're two Eiffel Tower, are, it's all I, fair. Oh, I was going to ask you if you're familiar with that concept. <laughs> no, I'm familiar? Oh, oh I invented mean. it. <laughs> it. It wasn't gifted for France. It was gifted by Dave. <laughs> That, oh wait, no, that's the wrong thing. It's actually Liberty. called the Menage a Dave. The Statue, <laughs> Statue of Liberty is a completely different act, John. Come a, on, a Dave Atois. Oh, 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 a Dave Atois. Uh, we he's a comedian, isn't he? Uh, that's no. God, God. <laughs> no, he's not even funny. David Tell. Well, first off, David Tell's hilarious. But he is. He is pretty. pretty I, you good. know, I'm going to disagree with you, John. He's pretty good. He's pretty good. But right. score yeah. one for me already. <sighs> Game oh, night you're is up. up. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's coming up, Dave. (laughs) (laughs) That's fair. Uh, So we got a lot of stuff to talk about tonight. Uh, There's several rants I want to go on because it's been a very, very angry week. Um, We have Dave Games, which I'm so excited about. Why do you want to rant about that? Oh, you said excited. Oh no, (laughs) we're going to save that till after the Dave Games. Save that till after the Dave Games. So I have proper anger and rage built up. That's fair. Uh, You will, I promise. We're going to do some more auditions, uh, and then we're going to talk about some FAQs. It's going to be very fast and loose today. Oh, okay. Um, More slow and loose. I like it. Uh, It's got no planning, which is why I have this piece of paper with a plan oh, written on it right here. It's super I, secret. I, super I, secret. Dave I, also has secret paper. I have like six oh. secret papers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but before we get into that usual boring stuff, Dave, what have you been up to? I have been up to as little as possible, and it has been magical. Yeah? Absolutely magical. Uh, let's see. I started off by picking up some models since last time. I got Ferris. I got the Primaris Lieutenant. The I'm Primaris sorry, you got Lieutenant. Furries? Oh, yeah, yeah, Furries. You didn't um, already have that guy? The, the new Primaris Lieutenant? Yeah. No, he is unique. No, he comes in Wake the Dead. No, not that one. The new, the Phobos Lieutenant. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, never the, mind. The new, brand new Phobos Lieutenant. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. So, um, and he is purdy. Yeah. He is a good model. He is just going to stay in the plastic packaging because I, I like him, but I don't have a need for him you know oh okay so he just goes on my collection shelf along with everything else your shelf of shame every it's hobbyist has sh- a good one shame sh- shelf yeah it's that's not the shame shelf actually i have a shame that's, shelf. that's where his oh, furries got, go let's not okay hold on let's not talk about your no, shame, no, no, I'm shame just shelf gonna, i'm gonna tell you right now it's got oh, some great. uh thousand sons on it oh um, because, oh it's models yeah yeah my, my model <laughs> shame shelf I don't have a shelf for that stuff. I've got kids. I have a drawer for the shame. You're talking about the shame drawer? You're right. We're not going to talk about that. It's like, Dad, can we open your gun safe? Yes. Gun safe. (laughs) Uh, No, that is not safe for you. Um, Yeah, no, I picked that up. Uh, Started building him. I have ordered some more Thunderfire cannons and whirlwinds because I'm a monster. Sure. Because I think think Iron Hands work best with three and three. So, I mean, it's probably too many. Oh, okay. Yeah, but, uh, probably. But I won't know until I try it out. And since yeah. nobody up well, you here can owns always, those models. You can always just cut it down too later on if you don't yeah. want to. I mean, I, I, I do. Better to have too many than not enough. Yeah, that's the way I'm looking at it. That's what I always say. Uh, so I've got all that stuff built, but I haven't done anything with it yet because uh, I was informed Friday that um, one of my four-year-old nephews was spending the weekend with us. And I was like, oh, that's cool. He lives on my lap. Oh, I wait, am. I got a sound effect for this. Thank you. Yeah. Is that actually sad or is it fun for you? Uh, it's it's a mix. Okay. Because sure. this particular nephew is allergic to everything under the sun. Oh, that's too bad. So all the foods that Dave likes to eat, he can't eat while the nephew's over because residue sure. can kill him. 
<clears throat> so, so does he live in a bubble? No. Okay. No, his mom just is punishes it, me. Is it um, sad that you can't enjoy nuts like you usually do? I do, do <laughs> love some good nuts. Oh, don't. Uh, oh, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> no, he's he's allergic to garlic, salmon, uh, nuts. But his uh, breath must uh, be fantastic. Air, yeah. <laughs> water, it's just. But he it's human he dander. <laughs> It all changed the one day the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. But he's he's awesome. That's so cool. We, well, that's good, we man. Spent some time playing, and then uh, I was Family also is important, informed Dave. that we were hosting a party for the East High Cross Country Running Team. Oh, which I was like, what is that? Very like? generous Five, of you. Six people? No, like no. twenty. Oh, you're like fifty. Yeah. What? <laughs> fifty people. So. I, I, Ukes. <laughs> I laid down at like 5.30 to take a nap so I could deal with that many teenagers. And when I woke up, I didn't recognize a single person in my house. Oh, man. So was, did you just leave then? <laughs> like, this uh, is no longer my home. Did the SpongeBob, I am going to head out. <laughs> <laughs> I tried, but a, one of those kids was parked behind me. So I had to go back inside and be like, who owns this car? My dad. Move. He's not here. <clears throat> no, it was it was bad. He's enough. coming back any day now. <laughs> <laughs> I, sorry, I was bad enough that I saw my uh, my youngest daughter hiding out in her mom's car. Just with it wasn't running. She was just sitting in there so Aww. that she could be away from all those kids. I was like, get get in. We'll go get ice cream. Oh, that was a good move, Dave. Yeah, it was. And then uh, we went back home and we chilled. Mostly, I was pissed off because those damn kids ate all the hula hands. Oh, yeah. Kahlua well, a pig. I mean, how much hula hands? Pork. You got a hula hands for 50 people, Dave. Okay, question. Yeah. How the fuck is a hula hand? Oh, oh it's a Hawaiian restaurant. Yeah, downtown. it's amazing. Oh, nice. You should try it out if you haven't been there. That's oh. pretty good. Yeah. Do they have vegan was, options? <laughs> Probably. Probably. Yeah. Probably not. Yeah. Probably not. <laughs> oh. Well, seen a lot of thin vegan Hawaiians. They're usually dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> right. They're dead, though. Oh, great. Now we lost our two Hawaiian Sp- listeners. <laughs> Spam is vegan, right? Uh, I mean, it's not meat, but it's also not plant-based. <laughs> oh, there goes all of our Spam listeners. Dude, I love Spam. Yeah. It's delicious, right? Oh, yeah, man. Anyway, that's all I got done with uh, with stuff. That and I theory crafted a ton of different lists with Cody this weekend. And yeah? By that, I mean Cody kept throwing lists at me, and I kept telling him why they weren't going to work. And then I kept trying to steer him back towards a drop pot of salt with Tyranids. <laughs> I think it's viable. I think it works. Okay. If you want, I mean, do games usually not go past turn one for you? Uh, I don't. <laughs> I think. I think <laughs> not. Not since the new code. I think came since out. we your Iron Hands, where you're like, well, yeah. yeah, the game will be over turn one, so yeah. if most of your stuff's off the table at the start. You won't have to deploy anything. I, I just so the Swarm Lord, um, swar- a Swarm Lord, yeah, Swarm Lord's the slingshot, Gene Stealer slingshot, yep. right? So. <clears throat> the Swarm Lord has a problem of just dying before he can be completely useful. Yes. So if you move your Gene Stealers up behind like Nova Walls and then drop pot in turn two, the Swarm Lord, you know, uh, turn one, you move up behind Nova Walls. Turn two, you drop pot in the Swarm Lord. You can use the Swarm Lord's ability without him dying to get your Gene Stealers into to massive combat. Pretty simple. It, it's uh, okay. <laughs> okay. So if, if I know you have if, a draw pot off the table with a swarm Lord, I'm moving my guys. So you can't get anywhere fucking near anything important. He should be like on the back edge of the table, like behind terrain, like as hidden as he possibly can be. The problem is, is then you can't slingshot <coughs> into them. Oh yeah, you can. He has to be within a certain distance of them to yeah. slingshot them. Like three or six or something like yeah, that. But he doesn't have wings. He only moves like nine. Yeah. So, so he can if advance. he's in the back corner and he advances, then you're only Conga line. maybe at best Conga 15 line. out Conga from the edge. Line. Sure. And then the rest of the Steelers are like 20 inches uh, like further ahead of him or 30 inches further ahead <laughs> yeah. of them because so, they're strung out. Yeah, because he, yeah, they have to get strung out like a like guy, somebody that would bring Believe me, it wor- I promise you it works. Yeah. I just, I don't know. It, it's a thought. Instead, he's going yeah, a totally fair. different direction and mixing and, in gene stealer. Yeah, and bringing and three bane blades. <laughs> sure. Okay, cool. All, all because I called him a coward who wouldn't take three bane blades and carnifixes. <laughs> when will people learn not I to mean, rise to my obvious <laughs> awfulness? The difference is, is that three bane blades and a bunch of carnifexes doesn't sound like it sucks versus a lot of stuff. Sucks versus space marines, but then everything sucks versus space marines right now. So, oh, well, okay. I don't agree. <laughs> 
Sorry, I don't entirely oh, agree I, with that. I'm just going off solely what I've heard on every other podcast on the planet. Oh, so. well, those guys are all wrong. They're, they're all wrong. Yeah. I mean, not, well, not all of them. I'm sure I've heard some pretty reasonable stuff on, yeah. on, uh, uh, Stat Center today. I heard yeah. some pretty good interviews. You know, nothing's wrong with Space Marines. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. Yeah, I, 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 I also <laughs> not haven't said me. it. I was John <laughs> at, uh, Mob rules John dot gmail dot dot com or something dot net yeah dot net yeah <laughs> dot dot edu slash, slash org <laughs> slash org <laughs> comma why that's uh but yeah that's what I've been up to other than that I've just kind of been chilling and having a good time you know nice trying to recoup energy after rough weeks like like just slowly like a, a bad episode of Bleach you spend the whole time amassing power. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Danny, what have you been doing? Filler episode, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So I've been playing a shitload of games with Iron Hands. Um, just yeah, like did. trying to get well, ready. Wouldn't it accurately say you've been playing a shitload of parts of games? With yeah. Iron Hands? Well, enough though of the game to know how the game would go. Um, so I've been playing against uh, Rob Porter quite a bit. Um, we've been doing some practice games. Last Saturday, I think we played roughly twelve hours, <laughs> so almost all something know, like that. <laughs> like all I know f- is that you weren't at his house when I stopped by. Oh yeah, we went to go get lunch. Right. The mi- the one time I I was like, hey, I'm on my way. It's like you got Dan- like Rob was like, Dave's on his way. You want to go get some lunch? That's not what happened. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, seriously. Anyway, so uh, uh, I played like the first like two or maybe three turns of a lot of games with Iron Hand. So um, I feel like I have a pretty good handle on my list. I think it's a good list in the meta to potentially counter other Iron Hands lists. Because <laughs> it's weird whenever you're constructing a list now, you're like, how do I counter Iron Hands? <laughs> well, then you have to think about, all right, well, I can counter Iron Hands. Can I deal with White Scars? Yeah. Can I deal with Raven Guard? Okay, cool. I can deal with those. All right. Well, what about everything else? Can I deal with that stuff? I feel like you probably can. <coughs> I mean, yeah. I, I've seen your your list, uh, and I, you know, it, it feels kind of like a take all takes all comers list a little bit. It is. You know? It's got some. It's got some good tech against some various different things, and I feel like if I play a really solid game, um, I will do well with it. And the nice thing I think about this this list is that like when i'm playing it i don't feel a lot of pressure and i don't know what it is about like playing these space marines that makes me not feel all this pressure like maybe it's because they're easy i'm sure that's what people are thinking but but i think it's i think it's because i don't i don't have as like any emotional investment in this army unlike like some of the stuff that i've nicely painted like my necrons or like my eldar or um, like my chaos, that kind of stuff. Like I feel like invested in that stuff. Mm-hmm. So I get like, I can get worked up sometimes when I'm like getting my butt kicked. And with these guys, I just don't care. I go, okay, well, how do I get well, out of this? If I can, I your can. butt kicked. Man, it's I, like daddy's even more dangerous with like without emotion. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like a fucking robot, man. Like fucking great white <laughs> shark player now. His eyes just roll back in his head yeah, and he just, just eats your it, army. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That was the most disturbing sound. <laughs> <laughs> Dave with the Hannibal Lecter noise. Um, so yeah, but it's been it's been really fun. I've really enjoyed them. Iron Hands were like my very first Space Marine army, like probably the first like army more than a thousand points that I had fully painted. So um, it's cool to build some stuff. I built some uh, Venerable Dreadnoughts, and I haven't built that kit in like years and years mm. and years and years. That is a cool kit. That is really fun to build. It's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It has so many options. Like yeah. you can do a lot of mixing and matching. And like it suffers a little bit just from being like, again, one of the older kits, not necessarily being as technologically advanced as the new ones. But sure. For a Dreadnought kit, it's really, really solid. You know, the cool well, thing about it is that you can make the arm gun like switch outable without mm-hmm. any, uh, is, that I don't, is that a word? <laughs> switch outable? It is now. Copyright Mob Rules 2019. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Get your new t-shirt um, here. You can switch out the last cannon and stuff like that without magnetizing it. Yeah. So no, no, that that kit is pretty good for that. It is. Uh, the only thing I don't like about the kit is the forced. Uh, look at me! I'm standing on rocks base, and also oh, they don't have that in there. Oh, it's not in the venerable one. No, it's just a regular it's base. Just in the regular. Oh, that's well. Then never mind. I stand corrected. I mean, I'm probably going to make one of mine standing on rocks at some point. Well, but yeah, but not the not the plastic preformed base. You right. Know yeah, I mean? that old dreadnought. Well, it, yeah. it actually comes on the dreadnought sprue. I'm pretty sure. 
like it might. in that kit. Anyway, yeah, it's cool. It is. So I've uh, been having fun building models. I uh, got Ferios built. I built a bunch of Stormhawks. That's been fun. Um, yeah, but uh, everything's been going pretty good. Oh, and we, I mean, we uh, recorded some videos, which I only released one of because... Spoilers. I'm terrible. Oh, really? You didn't do the Raven Guard one? No, yeah. I had it uh, I had it rendering, and it crashed uh-huh. on me. Oh, no. I was like, fuck it, I'll do it tomorrow. And then tomorrow happened, and it was like... <laughs> it's almost just, ironic that your Raven Guard video was destroyed in the shadows. Honestly, I... I <laughs> so, so behind the scenes, spoiler alert, I had like four minutes of battery life left on my camera when we, when we recorded the open for the Iron Hand Raven Guard thing. And mm-hmm. uh, so we, we had to do it fast. Oh, yeah. Right? It was like, this one's got to be it. This is the last take. Uh, and then I thought about it afterwards, and I was like, oh, we should have done a Raven Guard special opening where, like, Danny, where I'm standing there like, oh, do, do, do. Yeah, I'm deployed. I'm ready. And then you go, okay, cool. And then, you know, you just walk up and stand next to me for a second. But I'm going to cut all that out. So I won't move. <laughs> It'll just be you being like, boom, Raven Guard. You know? Uh that's actually pretty good. Yeah, I it like would have been. I yeah. wish we'd. I wish we'd done it. <laughs> sure, but I'd be like, boom, Raven God. Yeah, yeah. You know, I could do jazz Dan, hands have with Danny it. next to the camera, so that he's like, "All right, I'm deployed. Are you deployed? Okay." <laughs> boom, Raven God. Raven God. I don't have a button for that. I didn't know we were making that joke. Raven God. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's. Uh, I just. It was one of those things that came to me after the first, uh, sure. iteration of the edit, and I was like, "Oh, we should have done this." For your Raven Guard video, you just need to release a video of you throwing a computer box into the trash. You should be like, like a like a drop pod. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, that was thrown onto the table. That was our. That it was, was artistic. pulled out of the trash. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that was artistic and, and 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 beautifully done. Oh, I'm sorry, you were yeah, referencing little, your little my little drop pod your little video. gif. Yeah, yeah. He did, he did, uh, well, he did two of them. He did one where he threw it in the trash the first time. Oh really? So the the irony is him pulling it back out. No, you never threw it in the I trash. I never threw it in the trash. I would never do that to my models. No. He would. I've seen him actually. Um, no, wait, he'd do it to my models. That's yeah. what I've seen. Yep. My bad. Yeah. Cuz they are trash. Mm-hmm. Uh no, when I did that little iron uh drop puck if I, I lined kitchen paper on top of the trash can and then so you would gently sure place to... the model in <laughs> and then I lifted it up. My just behind the scenes spoilers and yeah. all this stuff. I'm sorry, here wait, now. did you just say kitchen paper? <laughs> English people will know what I'm saying. <laughs> what the fuck is kitchen no, they paper? Won't. <laughs> a is paper it, is towel. That a paper towel? There's, it is oh. a paper towel. There's a, ra- there's a random Scottish person someplace. Kitchen paper. It's Finally, like, they're talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> I knew if I waited long enough. <laughs> it's like when my wife calls a shopping cart a buggy, I like lose my fucking what mind. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> fucking leave what now. The fuck? <laughs> That's divorce papers worthy, man. You just No, nah, it's just the South, every, man. You every, can't get Every time mad at she them. says buggy, you just reach and pull out an I mean, envelope I'm, that says divorce papers <laughs> and point to it. You will use the right northern te- the terminology or else. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm fairly sure there's a lot of things the South have done you can be mad about. I mean oh. I probably won't be mad about because <laughs> it didn't happen to me. <laughs> fair, fair. Uh, so you played lots of Iron Hands games. Yep. You, you got your Iron Hands models assembled. I'm painting. Yep. Um, you got three asshole tanks. I did in the mail. I <laughs> did you forget you ordered them? No, no. no. I was like, well, <laughs> uh, it was that night I was really hungry the other day, and then like I all of a sudden realized that like I the next morning I looked at my eBay thing and it was like, oh, you've ordered three. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you were ordering uh, Repulsor Express or something to like deliver Chinese uh, food? Sure, sure, yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Uh, so I got those in the mail. Oh, I also bought a Hunter, which are very oh. hard to find. Like I've been oh. trying to get more of them. I want Do you mean three. on the tabletop or in general? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. For sale on the table. Like nobody wants to sell them because nobody bought them in the first place. <laughs> The only people who have it are like the garage hammer hobbyists who just really like the model. And they're like, yeah. no, I converted could, this one up. How would anybody even like that model? I mean, it's just, it's, you gotten, know what I love about I that model? It's, it's cool, dude. It's the little, really? the little yeah. stalks at the bottom. Yeah. That, that it like plants into the ground. Did you know it's toughness eight? Yeah. Yeah. I've read know, the man. chat. <laughs> it's pretty I'm good. Following along. It's pretty good. You know who else has suggested I swap to hunters from whirlwinds? Who? Tim. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, then yeah, that's because we shouldn't That's because we've been talking about it. He's like, oh, swap out your, uh, Wolverines and and swap in hunters, man. They're T eight. They're a great screen. I was like, the repulsor executioners are the fucking screen, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> you 
know what a hunter doesn't do well? Overwatch. It does it okay. It's a five with not, the reroll. Not as good as a sexy, sexy repulsor executioner. Come on, charge me, big daddy. All right. Although I'm probably going to swap to impulsors as, uh, and use them as a screen. If they ever actually so gonna, release. Yeah. So I'm sorry, you're going to drop the executioner? Shh, 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 shh. Oh, it's sorry. fine. It's good. Some of us have close combat armies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'd, I'd swap out one or two of the or two of the whirlwinds and swap. Oh, okay. So, so, you know, swap out some other stuff, some other pieces to put together that. That makes sense. Plus, it gives me the opportunity to shoot across the board as fast as possible to claim like recon or some other stuff like that if I choose to. That's smart. Yeah. All right, and I've been doing one other thing. Okay, what else have you been doing? I have been debating a lot of rules lately. <laughs> uh, I saw you actually <laughs> post on Calm Forty. I did. I did. <laughs> It was like Danny McDevitt has posted. I'm like, oh shit, what's he going off about now? <laughs> so I've been posting in our local thing. We've been having some in some discussions about uh, terrain on tables. Uh, um, for reference as well, the picture going around right now of three uh, repulsors on top of a third level of a ruin. <laughs> that's from our meta. That's from sure. our meta. That, yeah, that that's, is from one of our, our GTs. Our, <laughs> that's our, our good buddy, Kevin. He did good, man. That was a smart move. Oh yeah, yeah. We're not mad that it happened. We're just mad that I mean, it's I, out. He, I, well, so I'm really happy about that SoCal ruling. By the way, I okay. think it's great. I mean, it's good I, for the game. I, I'm fine with it. I, I think I think it should be uh, as long as the base fully fits, rather than the whole repulsor model, because the repulsor model is that much larger. But okay, I mean, because the base is pretty big. It's not like it's on a tiny flying stand. You know, like up, oh, bink, I fit. But, sure. You know, I, and I I like it. I, I like the ruling itself. It just, I wish it was uh, a little bit, it, it went from one extreme to the other is what I'm, I'm seeing. So, and, and that's cool. It makes perfect. Honestly, as long as the, the way is, it was being abused, uh, it should go to the extreme. Yeah. I mean, I, I never got more than one on top of a building, so. <laughs> You've been playing on the wrong you tried, building. You son. tried hard. I did. Dave's deployment is 20 oh, no, minutes I, of him just like gently call a house of cards stacking repulsors on top of that's a real feature. Just like, why not go. just stack them right on top of each I, other? There's no rules against that. I, I actually did stack, uh, put them on buildings in the first time Kevin and I played when he was still running two with his death watch instead uh-huh. of three. And I was like, boom, this guy's up here. And he's like, what? I was like, if I fits, I sits. So... <laughs> Yeah, no, when he when he did that three up there, he ran over and found me. He was like, check it out. If I fits, I sits, Dave. I was like, <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Kevin. You're the best. Uh, and I'm really glad around. it's not me. <laughs> it's Nothing's not a picture of my army that's circling around the internet right now because they are just... I think oh, the man, funny thing I saw was... People are so mad. People are so mad. They're like, look at the fucking European meta. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, hey, guys, we're not... That's what not a body put... <laughs> Yeah, not everybody was like, check out the European meta's hot. Meanwhile, I, like, I mean, Europe. like, man. Meanwhile, in Europe, they're just confused. I know we're not part of the continental United States. <laughs> and our pet- yes, we are. We're part of the continental, but not contiguous. Or contiguous It's United a very, States. very common wording mistake. Oh, yeah. that I'm sorry, we're not part of the contiguous United yeah. States. I keep, meaning to to write, I keep meaning to write. Yeah, dude, I've argued that and gotten free shipping plenty of times. And then I also understand. Well, you're also very large. So. I'm the, who am I? What? <laughs> He has a very imposing voice. Yeah, oh, that On must phone. be it. Yeah. Sir, are you like six six? We know. Oh um, my god! Yeah, we'll send you stuff for free. We know Mackie paints with a certain French flair, which might might make people think oh, that it's yeah. European. Uh, but that that bullshit maneuver is a hundred percent Alaskan, and that is the matter we play. We're claiming that hardcore. Uh, yeah, <laughs> suck it, lower forty eight. Um, but yeah, no, it's been good. Um. Yeah, it's been a good couple of weeks, I think. You think? Yeah. It's been pretty good. Uh, well, I'm back to chaos after dabbling hey. in Marines and Dreadnoughts. Yeah, I'm looking to pick up three non-yellow Invictor War suits. Do you happen to have any of those? Uh, I have two yellow Invictor uh, War out. suits. Um, well, I still love my Dreadnought list, and I still love running Dreadnoughts. And like whenever I run Marines, I invariably just run to running large amounts of robots. But then I was kind of looking over at my trays. I'm like, well, I have like three Painted Plague Bearers. I have 60 I really should build. Uh, and then I just made a list of things that I thought were cool. Cool. And then I was like, yeah, I'll just do this. And then this gives me time to paint it and prep it for, for SoCal. Um, I've added some zinc. Whoa, 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 oh, sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. LVO. Like, LVO. What? Yeah. Surprise. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm coming too. No wonder uh-huh. you're flying popper class to Vegas. You, you got I, two I hope tickets your mother-in-law has an extra spot, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> 
Spoiler, she doesn't. No, I meant uh, LVO. <laughs> um, but no, so I, I made some trades. So I have 30 uh, pink horrors coming, uh, which I'm going to use contracts with to paint purple. Uh, like yeah. a light pa- purple, and then they'll be good, done. Um, I made a trade to get two blue horrors, which is all I need. Mm-hmm. Um, and then a change caster. I have every good flavor of Chaos God in my list. I have Zinch, Slanesh, Ooh. and Nurgle. Every good Chaos God. So I picked up... Uh, you have Slane- Oh, you have the... Lord yeah. Discordance. That's right. So yeah, I have a... <gasps> Did you pick up Lord Discordance? So I have... Uh, I picked up one. I have two more on order. Oh, man, I'm actually kind of proud of him. Um, so I have three Lord Discordance on my list. I have a couple of um, Blights, Dudes... Fuck, whatever they are, the, the ones who vomit bile. Putrid uh, blight spawn. Yeah, putrid blight spawn. Those guys, two Sorry, of those I guys. I was yawning, I couldn't. Yeah, I was, I was like waiting for Danny to come in and rescue me as I forgot what the dude was it's called. Not the, the beast of Nurgle, right? Not the little, nope. Like, nope. Not the little puppies. They're, they're characters. They're, oh, oh. They're Death Guard elite choices. Right, yeah. right, okay. Spoilers, if you play me, take Headhunter for four <laughs> points. Because <laughs> I have so many characters. Because I'll Don't give it up. Don't do that, John. There's at least two, giving up three people in Anchorage that listen to that. that I'm, I'm giving it up uh, easier. I'm giving Headhunter up easier than a hooker on a corner on a, a Monday morning. Giving it up easy because traffic is slow. That was oh. the joke I'm going for in that one. Um, but yeah, so I'm very excited about this list. It kind of plays back to my thing of <laughs> uh, playing with <laughs> uh, playing with kind of hordes and, and getting hordes in. I like it. It fills in some of the gaps of my old demon list of guns. Yeah. Um, which was uh, something I was struggling with of kind of missing an entire third of the game pretty much. Uh, so the the and horrors it feels bad, right? Like right you want to yeah. be part. You want to have in that shooting game, and like half of my yeah. games with my demon list have been against flyer wings. And I'm like, cool. I guess I'll just you know grab these objectives. <laughs> I guess I'll just die. Then. I guess I'll just like win by you being shitty at picking secondaries. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> so I picked up. Yeah. So I have two more Lord Discordance on order. I'm excited. They're great. I put one together. What a great model. It really is. And it all goes together like really easily. It's it's super pretty. Oh, man. I'm John, excited to purple and gold it. Between the two of you today, you both sucked so many GW dicks. I'm just kind of shocked. What's whoa, going on right now. whoa. You know, I'm gonna, look, I'm going to tell you right now. Man, Danny, I you're like such a great model. The old Dreadnought kid. It's amazing. You know, John it's, was like, it's it's amazing. And I was like, <laughs> Lord Discordant. You know what? I get not, it. Don't get me wrong. Not the beautiful best models, but. Not the best model I put together this week. Oh. But we don't, we don't talk about those. Oh. No. Mm. Mm. Spicy. Mm. Mm. Yeah. How you like that? <laughs> Show can that come back sandwich? Uh, <laughs> Dude, I just don't bite the hand that feeds, Dave. I'm just saying. Heck no. Heck no. Thank you. We, we appreciate all the, the stuff. Yeah. Um, we're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to come back, and then we're all going to rant because I have angers. Maybe if I hit. <laughs> <that's cool. laughs> and, and we're back. And we're back. I hope uh, you enjoyed that break. No, break time. Dude, I'm the best. I took first place at another tournament. First off, stop with the thunder and lightning. You don't impress me. And second, let me check out the BCP rankings. And I don't see you on there. What? Your TO needs to download the Best Coast Pairings app and run events on it. After the event, the results are uploaded into BCP rankings. And the best part, it's easy and free. But I play multiple game systems. No big deal. The BCP app can be used for any game. A ton of events every weekend are using it, from major international tournaments to local stores. And now that it's available on Android devices, you're going to have some serious competition. There can be only one. BCP Rankings is a fun and exciting way to measure how you or your team stack up. No matter what you play, your score goes to an overall ranking. Or compete to be the best in a game, a circuit, a region, or the world. Download the app or visit www.bestcoastpairings.com for more info. Best Coast Pairings. Are you the best? It's rent time. Wait, I just, I feel like saying something though. Did you guys know that the best app that I've found on the internet, like it goes together really smooth, is the BCP app. It is just a smooth, amazing app from start to finish. <laughs> you just jealous you don't have with... a dick in your mouth now? <laughs> I, I wanted to... <laughs> <laughs> it was it was a Malifaux model was the best model I put together in the past week and it's cause the tiny little detailed camera 
Oh yeah, oh, it was yeah. super cool. Was it more than one piece though? <laughs> Are we? Thankfully, no. Yeah, okay. That's why it was the coolest. Let me tell you uh, about the zombie chihuahua sometime, dude. <laughs> cool. Oh, it already sounds awful. Um, ranting time. Internet, you've been fucking awful this week, and I hate most of you. Um, <laughs> couple of big things have happened uh i don't think i'm overreacting um clearly i'm, I'm going to say two topic titles and then we'll talk about them but i kind of want to want to let you guys in on where my head's at right now um i can, I can already guess where your head's at one uh it's not up my ass dave that's just mean under the table <laughs> that's what dave was thinking he's nodding that's my head on the top of the table right sure. there um all right one holy work one one <laughs> Uh, Iron Hands have not destroyed the fucking game. Mm. (laughs) And I'm so done with reading that. Two, Games Workshop teaming up with Marvel is not a bad thing. (laughs) I have waited for the... Princess Malkador for a long time. Oh. I think that's All amazing. Right. <laughs> All right. As a, a huge, obviously, Games Workshop fan, and surprisingly, a massive Disney fan, I love me some Disney animated movies. Sure. You Just because Disney owns you doesn't mean your characters are princesses. You have to be married or the daughter of a fucking uh, king to be a princess. I don't know about that. I mean, Fulgrim's who's Jane Zara's dad? Pretty. Um, Kane. I don't know. Yeah. Azerman. Yeah, I'm sure he, she calls him daddy. I'm Whoa. sure she does, but yeah. <laughs> so what, what happened is I'm, I'm reading things. So I'm reading on the internet, which I don't know why I'm doing. So it's just making me mad, but people are saying, well, they really should have just signed with dark horse comics. Yeah. No, let's go with a much fucking smaller company with little reach. Yeah, let's, seriously. let's go ahead and do that. Let's, let's, Harumph. I know, I know, Harumph. I know uh, it's ridiculous. And then like the, uh, Oh, you got the real, like, real hardcore incels are, like, just coming out of the woodwork. Yeah. It's like there's been a flood, and it's just washed them all out from under the bridges where they live. I feel like, I feel and they're like, all on the internet. I feel like this is like, Arch Warhammer again. Oh, back. dude. Yeah. It feels he's that way. Back. Like, he's he's like, this is my topic. I can get back into well, the limelight. Well, and and here's, here's the other part of it. I'm rubbing my hex. It's so fucking frustrating this, this whole thing is people like yeah get ready for like the emperor to become like a black woman in a wheelchair and i'm There's like stuff. no that's still gonna happen just because marvel is making comics in the universe as the owner of the ip you get to sign off on things you get you don't just be like okay you get to make comics mm. don't do that you little rascal don't make our emperor like strong powerful mermaid lady <laughs> And I'm First just off, saying Marvel's awesome. like Marvel's like, okay, let's just do whatever the fuck we want with the IP. There's no legal ramifications for that. So first of all, the emperor is Turkish in the background. He was created by Turkish shamans in the mountains. Yes. Like no joke. He's actually Middle Eastern. Like fucking get over it already. But, oh, but Snikes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, how can you tell? I mean, you Marvel's right now had the license. Nobody can to, actually look at him. Cause you well, Marvel's had the license that, for two days. It's just, he's all bones. I mean, it's yeah. like, not well, like fair. Could... Marvel's had the license from less than weight, and you've had an entirely white character in the Emperor's skeleton turn Middle Eastern. There you go. Dunzo. It's, it's, oh, God, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. <laughs> and, like, have you got, and everyone's pointing out, like, uh, they, they did, like, all the Marvel Now stuff and, and the, the kind of the representation part of it. It's that doesn't mean it's gonna. Uh, did you guys even read the Vader miniseries? It was amazing. <laughs> Is that the one where Vader becomes a chick? No, 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 no. It's where he becomes a strong, independent Sith Lord who don't need no palp. Oh man! So it's not. Is not of the scene where he's surrounded by all the rebels in the desert. And he says, yeah. all I see are dead, or all I see are like, f- all I see is fear and dead men. Right, right. Yeah. It's so awesome. Yeah. Yeah, man. They've ruined that. Just yeah. fuck oh, Marvel. God, it's the worst. <laughs> it's the worst. Here's it's the only response back. If I heard that in the desert would have been like, you also see some shit because I have shit myself. <laughs> no, you see one man running away. Uh, just because Marvel has licensed Games Workshop's IP does not mean Disney is going to buy Games Workshop. It's not like Disney is Danny or I sitting on a Friday night on eBay being like, well, shit, I guess I could have one of those. I don't have one of those yet. I'm pretty <laughs> hungry. I should get some Repulsor Express. <laughs> like, I haven't played Age of Sigmar in a year and a half, but I guess I'll buy a fucking model on eBay because, yeah, you know, whatever. Ooh, it's been a while since I bought maybe. something. There isn't. I've looked. Ta- Taylor's renewed interest in Blade Guys has got me thinking about it's, oh, boys. God, it's oh, just, man, I'm so glad I'm getting rid of those. It's so bad. 
So yeah, that's rent one. Disney, right. Disney right. uh, Marvel. Can we rebut? Yes, rebut. Okay. I won't. I won't. No, no. I mean, Dave. I mean, can we? I guess rebut. Uh, also complain. Reboot. Yeah. Reboot. reboot. Can, can I rebut? <laughs> can I rebut? Uh, yes. The only pro. The only problem I could potentially see is that while GW owns the IP, mm-hmm. Disney does technically have enough money uh, in the world because I think they have all of it at sure. this point they, they to, do. to just throw it at it. And while GW owns the IP, it is still run by a board of directors who love money. Yep. So there is, while there is I a slim chance that they could be like, hey, we decided to make one of your prime marks a chick and the people that work at GW would be like, what? No, that's insane. And then they suddenly are given huge bonuses and they're like, sounds good to me. I don't see it happening. And I don't no. think that's the case. I don't at all. I'm just, if Disney really wanted to do something, Disney would do it. Yeah. I mean, I mean here's the thing, right? I mean, if you, how, let's if you look go at the out job for amazing Spider-Man. I mean, Sony was like, Nope, sorry, you can't have it. And Disney's like, come on, baby. You know? Well, Just, here's the thing. If you go out and you really want a sports car and you think you can do great things with a sports car and you go out and you rent a sports car, and you like it so much that you want to buy that sports car. The first thing you don't do is figure out how to fit six kid seats and some SUV tires on it. You bought uh, you bought a sports car because you want a sports car, not because you want to turn it into a fucking SUV. Maybe you don't. True, all all that is true. So nothing nothing more surprising to people is when they roll up next to you with their coffee can exhaust pipes, and you you're sitting in your sports car that looks like a minivan, but it turns out it's. And actually then they're gonna be like, "Why the fuck did you even buy that if you just wanted an SUV?" <laughs> it's a sh- shock value when you blow them off the oh line. My God. And then it's like, okay, Hasbro Hasbro <laughs> has owned Magic the Gathering. For like what a okay, year now? Hold on, now when no, Hasbro for like a lot longer than like that. fifteen years for yeah. fifteen years, yeah, right, but, oh, or man. more. But when Fuck, Hasbro that went really like lighthearted, and now there's like Connect Four Magic the Gathering, right? Right, sure. And D and D is just fucking terrible, oh, yeah. right? D and D just fucking tanked. It's not in the strongest place in years yeah. ever. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, Man, major That's, fuck major corporations. Man. They are the just the worst. Just the worst. <laughs> Hasbro How didn't dare have anything to do with making D and D in the best place it's ever been. It's acceptance of that culture. I call, I call bullshit. Dude. You call bullshit. Call, I they mean, pumped well, so much money into no, no. that franchise. I think maybe they did it for advertising. Make it because it's. Let's Is it, it crazy way. that a company not, bought something and then advertised it a lot to sell a lot of it? No, no. What I'm saying is, is that in the '80s, the culture of D and D, and being a gamer in general, was something you had to hide. Okay, you don't. There's no hiding it now. It's, it's but I mean, it's more I feel like between Magic and Dungeons and Dragons, it's really like oh, no, those I'm not two. They those it two up. things they did, have like shit. have become so mainstream now. Like, and it's because of those things being so highly advertised and going mainstream. I feel like that we can live in the culture that we have right now, where we're doing this nerdy shit. Yeah, and yeah. nobody's trying to you know people, pants me. Like, I guarantee you when Stranger... <laughs> I tried to pants you when you walked in tonight. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, you did. Nerd. I guarantee you when, when Stranger <laughs> Things was being made, Hasbro was probably like, hey, we have some stuff we want to put on your TV show. We'll, we'll, we'll pay you some money for your Netflix show if you let us... Hell yeah. If the characters played D&D. Uh, I, I think the D&D was an integral part of the story. Can you imagine Stranger but here's Things the thing, without right? it, though? Well, here's the thing, It'd be though, like right? Robot without they, a they don't say emperor. they're playing role-playing games. They're playing Dungeons & Dragons, which is a registered trademark of Hasbro. Hasborg. Hasborg. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's right. Number one. Corporations coming together. Like all the people who were bitching. It's called the Monopoly, John. It's bad. People who were bitching about <laughs> Marvel bad. and Games Workshop te- like teaming up are the same people who celebrated Sony and Disney teaming up to make Spider-Man. Right. Right. Who team? Who's, who celebrated that? All the fucking nerds who wanted Spider-Man in the Marvel Universe. Oh, like, I, thought, I thought you were saying it was a bad thing. No, I, no, no. I, I the, they they, they all celebrated that. And like, this is a great thing. Look at these companies coming together. And then companies come together to make an awesome thing. And they're going, no, no, my yeah, grim dog. You should have gone Holland. to Dark Horse. Well, that's because these people, I don't think they've been exposed to like how much. People. Well, true. <laughs> so, Sunlight. So uh, <laughs> fresh air. Not their mom's basement. Vagina. Anyway, so. Like, I think that all of these, like these, this, this fan base has never been in the limelight before ever. Sure. Like nothing has ever come out for Warhammer or, or for like for 40 K or anything that's been mainstream. First off, there was, there was a pretty major motion picture that came out a few years ago, written by one Dan Abnett. Oh, stop, of stop, <laughs> stop. No, there wasn't. <laughs> That shall not be named. I couldn't even get through that. Yeah, was it Guardians of the Galaxy? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) 
I tried to have us do like a watch through where we had commentary on it and made fun of Ultra <laughs> Marine. Was so, but that movie is so fucking boring that we couldn't even make it funny. Like we can barely make our podcast funny yeah. uh, without doing that. Speaking of the shame shelf, go ahead and add to it a rhino and a bunch of painted Ultramarines for a re- redo of the Ultramarines movie. That's we're on the shame shelf. I mean, oh yeah, we're, we're still working on that. We'll, we'll talk about that later. Um, the other thing I wanted to complain about: Iron Hands have not destroyed the game. Are oh, they? Yeah. Are they powerful? Yes. Mm. Yeah, they are for are sure. You? And some of their stuff is probably broken, but for it sure. doesn't ruin the game. I have one note here in for this: you can't play the same list the same way for years at a time. Incorrect. It just doesn't work. It doesn't work. For you oh no, you can. Yeah. You just can't win with it. Yeah. Just stop winning. Right. Right. Like for for me, from my research, from like looking around, from listening, with the Iron Hands, you focus on getting those two characters dead. Yeah, if you can kill the characters. Yeah, good luck with that. Okay, <laughs> sure. But I mean, that's that's the game plan going in. You don't just look at it and you're like, oh, well, I guess his Iron Hands are fucking broken. What a cheater. <laughs> no, it's it's just a strong army. We've come up against strong armies before. Eldar Yanari. and Tau last initia- edition. And oh, Ari. my God. Yeah, Taudar. God, what Taudar, the worst. Taudar, <laughs> Yep. Iron Hands a couple editions ago. It's circular, man. I'm what just about, waiting for What my... about Grey Knights? I was just, oh, man, 5th edition Grey Knights yeah. were the worst. Or like... Yeah, when it when it gets to fifth edition Grey Knight levels, where people are actually l- like asking you like to see your book af- after every single thing you do because they think that you're cheating, because it seems so against the rules, the things that you're doing. That's when we can call it like game right. game busting. It is not. It's a strong codex that currently has one or two builds people are doing that have not been hard counted or played well against. When like fifty percent of the people show up to Adepticon to play with playing Iron Hands, like they did for Grey Knights. Then let's start talking about right. that. Right. Well, we'll see what happens in SoCal. I don't see it being all Iron Hands, but I could see like a 40% representation of Space Marines because everybody has Space Marines and yeah, they're suddenly and a place I still where think viable. that people, well, people are going to bring what's painted too. And so yeah. I think there might be 30%. I don't think it's, I don't, I don't, I definitely don't think it's going to be a majority of armies. And I definitely don't think, and this is, I feel like that tournament is a litmus test, right? Like that's when most of the, in fact, that's when probably all of the supplements will be released by then. Yep. So we should know. Cause I mean, we'll get a review copy of Imperial fists. Oh, I really uh, hope so. I'm really excited about those very much salamanders. Actually. I'm yeah. su- that character is just really does it for me. He's yeah. really fucking cool. An extra fist fist is, oh, is yeah, quite that amazing as well. He's pretty cool too. It's pretty cool. Rules, I mean, he's not like as cool him, as Ferios, but he's pretty cool. I like him rules wise, but I just something about that oversized super fist just doesn't do it for me. That that's how you get three times strength. Fisted. That's how you get strength twelve, baby. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> three times, three times. Nobody wants a twelve. In so, the face. does anyone else have anything they want to add I mean, about people being fucking stupid about the skies falling with iron hands? I just yes. wish that they think outside the box, right? Like, and yeah. that's all I want people to do is like, okay, look, it's here. These are the rules. Like, instead of being super negative and shitty about it, let's come up with some solutions. Right. Like, let's let's go to the playbook. Let's try and figure out what, uh, like, what you can do against it. Yeah. Are some armies going to be a bad matchup against them? Yes. If you're dealing on, if you're, if your focus on dealing vehicles is, is dealt with damage to weapons, it's going to be a really hard road for you to win against that army. Like, for sure. So yeah. you need to come up with something different. All you have to do, if you can kill a knight, you can kill a repulsor, even if it's minus one damage. So, like, if you think about it, it's just a knight without re- without rotated ion shields. That, and less wounds. Well, but yeah, but with the minus one damage, yeah. it's probably, like, no, I'm, technically I'm just, more wounds. But, like, depending on what the weapons are that you shoot at, it probably has, like, five or six extra wounds. So, that's, what, like, 24 yeah. wounds, roughly? I don't know. I don't, anyway. I don't math hammer it. So, like... Like, so th- think about that. If Math hammered. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, I'm glad we got fun. to use yeah, that. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you, Dave. I, I saw you send that up and look over this way while I was like, oh, yeah, shit. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so. Yeah, I was literally looking because you ruffled, rustled your paper. So I was confused what was happening. <laughs> it had nothing to do with that. Uh uh, but like, I, I just like, again, uh, like I feel like I've thought about this quite a bit. I think I know what the counter, the, the, the bad matchups are for this army. Um, like, and I just want people to like, think about, think about that for a minute. Like if you can kill a knight, you can kill a repulsor. Yeah. Are you going to kill them all in the first turn? <laughs> probably fucking not. You're probably fucking not. Do you know what yeah. you sound like right now, Danny? Who? Like if you can dodge a wrench, you can <laughs> dodge a ball. <laughs>
Uh, Old Patches O'Houlihan over oh, here. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's that's, anyway, our, that's our tactic yeah, series, Dave, be Danny O'Houlihan. So I, I completely agree with you, Danny. Uh, in in the fact that you and I are both in the same Discord and we interact with people, and and people in there are just losing their minds. The sky is falling, and the only thing I tried to do was say, "Hey, well, let's talk about what what other things can we? How can you guys do this? Let me tell you, as somebody that plays this particular list and has been playing for a while, a, a variation of this list since you know, pretty much the beginning of eighth. How, what am I afraid of? I'm afraid of these things. What? Those things are bad. And I'm like, really? Cause in You're my like, experience, they Dave. have not been bad just because they don't fit into the way you want to play your army. Well, I'm not a member of that chat and you guys are being fucking stupid. I'm talking to that chat that I'm not a member of. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> oh, they're not listening. So yeah. Yeah. You don't have to worry about yeah. that. Thank God. Oh <laughs> man. Um, Hey, do you guys want to jump into some Dave games? Uh, I thought we might take a break first. Would you want to take a break first? God, God you pussy. Dave's got to prepare. Jesus. Just kidding. I'm super excited about you to me. No. <laughs> take that. Uh, as I again. Got him. Podcast <laughs> excellence again. As I again. <laughs> hit the wrong Good button. I think we're going to edit that. <laughs> as I have literally been recording podcast stuff where I am editing. God then. damn it, John. Oof. We were this close to getting a podcasty. <laughs> that, that's not real podcasty 2020 mob rules vote for us i mean we should probably just make up an award ceremony oh we can give ourselves we some give, sick awards give industry ourselves some awards. sick sickest, industry awards sickest mom burn on a podcast <laughs> nominees are john quinnell from mob rules <laughs> danny's Mc, danny mcdevitt from mob rules <laughs> and the winner and is, danny's jizz because it burns your mom's skin <laughs> do you have a single wound a standard bolt gun Having trouble maintaining an acceptable Xenos kill count? Only barely over two meters tall? Maybe it's time to ask your lieutenant if the Rubicon Primaris is right for you. The Rubicon Primaris is a prescription process that helps you to update that tired look. You may notice an increase in your purging abilities after two to, within two to four hours. You may experience loss of life, additional organs, and a points increase. Do not take the Rubicon if you plan on fitting into rhinos, drop pods, or other traditional vehicles. The Rubicon Primaris is not intended for second founding chapters. The Rubicon Primaris is for use on genetically enhanced super soldiers over the age of 800 only. You are encouraged to report negative side effects to your company's apothecary. The Rubicon Primaris. Because sometimes, plot armor is just not enough. And, and and we're back. Um, and you you know what I think it's time for? What's that, John? It's time for Dave games. <gasps> oh man, I'm really Dude, just I'm fucking I'm this. fucking up the stuff today. Hey, you know what, guys? What time? I'm is not going to edit oh. this, but it's just going to so it be so it sounds more natural. <laughs> what um, time is it? It's it's time for Dave games. <laughs> Dave oh games. <laughs> Is that the new sound? For this? Please tell me you have that uh, saved as Dave games. Uh, I do on my board. It is saved as Dave games. Fantastic! Fantastic! Oh, fantastic! fantastic. Um, oh, yeah. we can do that for your rants and stuff too, <laughs> Dave. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah. So Dave games, uh, is, is something, uh, Dave, Dave wants to play some games and Danny and I want to play. Well, I want to lose yeah, yeah. probably, um, oh. unless you want to throw a couple of rounds. I, I don't know, is something. there a winner and a loser to your to you. game, Dave? <laughs> yeah, there's always a winner. And a loser. <laughs> it's the loser or listeners. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You want to, you so, want to. So, so set it up, Dave. This is your game. I will. I will, I, I will not explain, uh, your rules. I will explain the rules to you. It'll be simple and easy. All right. All right. I'm listening so I can attempt to best break these. <laughs> uh, I know I don't need to get. I think these it's. I think it's uh, funny that we're sitting Danny. here, Danny. That we're like, uh, 
We're not thinking how to win. We're thinking how to break the actual game. <laughs> oh, yeah. And oh, no, that's you tried so the hard. most... Uh, I wasn't trying. That was my honest That was my honest opinion previously. I'm going to give John this here cheat sheet. Since, oh, okay. Uh, so it's, it's actually pulled up on my laptop in the Mob Rules Command Center. Well, I'm sorry. I wasted but a I will, then. But I will... All right. How tiny are your trees? It's two pieces of paper. <sighs> okay. Pretty pretty rude to talk about the size of right, man's so, trees. Like so that. why are you giving so, so why are you giving me paper? Sheets? Yeah, what, what, a, yeah, what I have, am I not getting? Well, for this Dave game, we're gonna play Who Wants to Be a Secondary Heir, the rapid fire guessing game, where you take the choice of what you have been given as far as an army list, and decide which secondaries best go with the units I described to you. Yay! Oh, for my army list, like you're gonna give me an army list to play, and then I I'm gonna going tell to you give what you secondaries. Both the exact same army list. Okay. And then you both, as I rapid fire off, uh, you'll say your name as your buzzer to buzz in, and I will call on you, and you can tell me which secondary is the best secondary to verify, uh, to take against this particular unit of choice, or units, if there are units. Okay. 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 So. Wait, uh, okay. Hold on. So I'm just clarifying here. Yes. I just want to understand the game, because that's, that's th this is my nature, Dave, and I apologize for Perfectly it. Perfectly fine. All right. So I am picking a secondary to combat the thing that you're going to tell me with the list that you're going to give me. Correct. Okay. Now this isn't just your list and you're trying to like farm for secondaries <laughs> against people in our meta. Are you? That is totally incorrect. <laughs> this is a current, uh, reviewed list by, uh, -huh. uh the, the stylized list. Uh, I believe it's either called the iron, uh, Castle or the Iron. Does uh, it, is this three X? Is this the three repulsor executioners, three whirlwinds and three thunderfire cannons? Uh, no. Okay. okay. Good. There's um, only two Thunderfire so, so cannons standing. The best thing to do would be, uh, Let, you're going to give us the list, yep, give us the yep, thing. Yep. Um, I will mute Danny and I and play the wonderful Dave Games music again. And we will have until the end of the theme to prepare our answers. So that way Danny's not just like, oh yeah, Mark for Death, Kingslayer uh, and uh, Headhunter. Yeah, except that you only pick one. Only oh. pick one secondary. You will use your and it's name rapid fire. John, this other. is fast. We can't. We got to just <laughs> okay, go, fuck, okay, go, okay, go, okay, go, okay. go, so, go. Uh, you want to go ahead, and Kingslayer? <laughs> Correct. Just <laughs> one point for John. Yay! What am I even playing? Uh, <laughs> all right, so mark for death. <laughs> ooh, two points for John. I'm giving him a lead. All right, all right. Uh, so you will be playing uh, an Iron Hands detachment spearhead. Okay. Uh, with uh, Iron Father Furry Foes. Uh, three repulsor executioners. Okay. Uh, another spearhead with a captain, chain sword, storm bolter, teeth of Terra, two thunderfire cannons, two whirlwinds. This with is an fishing extra for relic. Secondaries. Okay. Uh, okay. Who is the extra relic? A battalion with a chapter master and gravis. Uh, the captain has the teeth of Terra. Okay. Okay. He is a regular captain, not a primaris captain. Okay. Are we making him a chapter master? No. Uh, you have. Uh, battalion detachment with a chapter master in Gravis armor, bolt storm gauntlets and stuff like that. He also has the iron stone and the will of iron warlord trait. Okay. Is that the five up feel no pain? Uh, that's the deny psychic powers on a four up. Oh no, it's not. It's yes, a it deny is. attempt. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's what I said. Deny a psychic power on a four up. That's not how no, no. psychic powers works, dude. You, you roll two dice. That's a strategy. That's what I said. The thing. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Good. Uh, a Primaris Lieutenant, because you want to get those ones to re-rolls for okay. all of your stuff. Uh, two Scout Squads with uh, Bolt Guns. A Tactical Squad with eight Space Marines and a uh, Sergeant with a Bolt Gun and a Power Axe. And a Drop Pod with Storm Bolter. Okay. And I realized this is not the list I was bringing today. That this, in fact, is actually my current list. So that was... Because <laughs> uh, I was trying to figure out why I had so many sheets of it. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, all right. Someplace else there is something else that I... Uh, yes, so you both are familiar with your lists here? I'm very familiar with yeah, your lists. I happen yeah. to have two copies. Yeah, I, I, I don't I'll need jump. it. You can have it back. I'll take it. Though. It's, it's fine. All, right. <clears throat> All right, so using your name as your buzzer, let's get ready to play Who Wants to Be a Secondary Heir. John is ahead already with two points, Danny. Yes. I hope you're okay with that. So can I, so I say Danny? I have to yell Danny in the phone? You John. Know. I mean, you got to put some emphasis behind it. Whoever's first. Danny. That's it. Good. Uh, I, I literally <laughs> yelled it like a minute ago. All right, John, if you can go ahead and let my buzzer uh, be unmuted, that'd be awesome. Oh, okay. Let's All go right, ahead there we and go. just give it a test. Perfect. Uh, and there's the rest of our listeners. All right. <laughs> All righty. So 
Three Doom sides. Against three Doom sides. Danny, John, Danny, big game hunter. Big game hunter is correct. I mean, all of these are just <laughs> acolytes. Honestly, three. here with this, it's okay. Here we yep. go. Three acolyte hybrids with rock sauce. John, engineers. John. Ooh. No, oh, that was wrong. I guess that's, that's wrong. the wrong. Oh, I guess is that the wrong one? That okay. is incorrect. Uh, Danny. Danny. Mark for death. Mark for death is correct. Danny, it is tied up to. I mean, two. you have a bunch of scout squads. You're not going to be doing shit with. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's why I'm like. Is there just one squad though? What else is in this army? <laughs> These are just you're looking over someone's right. army list on the fly, and you're you're. There's two you're scout squads up. and a tactical squad who no, no, have it, nothing to do. That's fair. <laughs> Three three man Virtus Praetor squads. John. John. Engineers. Incorrect. No, John, you're Danny. supposed to be selecting against the unit. Oh, against the uh, unit. That's with what you have. So okay, I just thought not... I wanted to score points and yeah, win. All right, That's I know. True. Danny. Danny. Okay. Gangbusters. Gangbusters is correct. Thought I'd throw you. A are they swarms? Didn't realize it. <laughs> <laughs> no, they are jet bikes, actually. All right. Although a common mistake with that secondary, I've heard. Yeah. Three Renegade Knight to spoiler classes. Danny. Oh, Titan Slayer. Uh, I heard John in first on that one. Whoa, but he didn't say his name. <laughs> oh. I have no name. Uh, John's name is Titan Slayer. That's bullshit. Yeah, that's uh, so we'll tie <laughs> or, up. Yeah, that's my name is Titan Slayer. <laughs> We're <What's> the secondary <laughs> engineers. <laughs> We're tied up three to three. Two repulsor executioners and two repulsor dedicated transports. Concession. Uh, r- recon, <laughs> because I'm not fucking attacking them. That's fair. All right. John, recon. Also, incorrect. Engineers. <laughs> Danny, big game hunter. Big game hunter is correct. Damn. Robert Gulliman. Uh, Danny, Barbara. Kingslayer. Kingslayer is correct. 90 Plague Bearers. Danny. Danny. Reaper. Oh, that's so good. That's mm, good. That's super good. Three Doomsday Arcs. Three Doomsday Arcs? Three Do- Doomsday Arcs. Did we already do this one? Nope. I mean, we John, did Doom Scythes. Big game hunter. <laughs> what? Why? Why is that not? That's was a it, trap. If you give me the fucking engineers as the answer, <laughs> then I'm done. Danny, would you like to take a guess for Doomsday arcs? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Mark for death. Mark for death is correct. What? Cause well, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Where's my record scratch? Why? I don't know. Castellan with Warlord trade Kingslayer. Because oh, that's it. Kingslayer. I gave it to myself. Kingslayer. Kingslayer. Dave, one point on the board. All right. <laughs> <laughs> two hemlocks and two razor wing jet fighters. A uh, concession. All, all your armies close combat. Uh, stay inside of buildings. Is that a secondary? That's uh, a secondary. I'm going to give it oh, to you. Oh, engineers. Yeah, good. Okay. engineers. Engineers. You got it. Uh, butcher's bill because this army is going to blow up so many of these fucking things. <laughs> two of them in one turn even. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Are you ready for the next one? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Three relic Leviathans. Oh, uh, ground control. <laughs> Cause uh, I'm not taking, I'm not going <laughs> to, nobody's killing three lo- no. relic Leviathans. Uh, in one game. Re- recon. I should tell you your amended list for the three relic Leviathans is four warlord Titans. What would you take then? Wait, We've four thought- warlord Titans. I think <laughs> in a 30,000 point game, I'm going to have some <laughs> options. Uh, wrong. That's uh, are we both wrong? That's incorrect. Wait, uh, if I'm against four Warlord Titans and I have 2,000 points of Iron Hands, nope, again, nope. concession is, no. is the only... <laughs> you have, uh, all right, uh, three five-man Catavron Breacher squads. Oh, uh, John, Gangbusters. Oh, Gangbusters. Hey, good, good pull, good pull. Four Armager Warglaves. War four? Four war- Armager Warglaves. Uh, John, I would say Mark for Death. They're power level seven plus, right? Sure. All right. That uh, is actually it, both correct. Big game hunter. They didn't say it was two different units. Yeah. Sure. Four units, which you can do because rule of three. Yeah. Well, no, you can take four of them Math because hammered. you can take a unit. <laughs> you, can, you can take one slot of three. You can All take right. nine war glaives if you want to. Actually. Yeah, but he didn't say a unit of three and All a right. single. He's They're not four. units though. After You're a deployed. unit. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, let's keep on the board here. Let's keep on the board. We're currently tied up at five to five. I, I a, somehow don't, don't I don't think that math is totally right. Is, yep, it is math hammered. Oh, uh, right. no, the sound didn't play. That was pleasantly <laughs> false. Five. <laughs> We're going to go to the board and see if that math's right. Oh. Well, next time you write the games. All right. No, that's why I made the sound effects. It's fair. nicer when you do the work. <laughs> you want to turn that off for me? I've got the next unit for you. I'm ready. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Five five-man Nurgling squads. 
Gangbusters. Gangbuster. Oh, uh, John. John Gangbusters. Oh, John gets oh. it. He takes the lead six to five. Just Son kidding. Gangbusters is not usable against swarms. swarms. Oh, oh so it's a sorry. Oh, it's a no. Common mistake. What a rookie so mistake. Oh, common. Oh, how could I have made such a <laughs> foolish error? God, how could I be Please so don't kick the chair, John. actually stupid? Like, just really stupid. Oh, like, that's like that could cost me an entire game. Oh, no. <laughs> How could I have done this? <laughs> All right. And the final oh. rapid fire is three Heil- Harlequin Skyweavers. The joke doesn't work if I win, Danny. So go, go ahead. Skyweavers? Yeah. Like three units of them? Yeah. Or three individual ones? Because they have to be at least units oh, of two. Oh, three Dave. units. Yeah, sorry. Three units. Gangbusters, Dave. That gangbusters is correct, uh, Danny. John, gangbusters. Too late. Damn, he got me. Mm. Just kidding. All right. <laughs> Just kidding. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck off, dude. All right. I got this one. <laughs> and here, by the way, is the list that you were supposed to be using to choose from. It's okay. Oh, okay. Did you find it? Yeah, I did. It's on this page. Um, Dave, you're writing an awful lot of notes so Dave, for our answers. What, so I have a question for you. Yep. Was this just to like show off your list? You're like, no. hey guys, look at this. This no, is my bad No, I actually consulted fucking like fucking four list. people on which was which secondaries. And to be mm. honest, uh, much like you did when I first explained in our chat how I wanted this game to play, you were like, that's very a positive. Sense. There's more ways to win a game than just taking secondaries. <laughs> and I said, yes, but this is about choosing a secondary based on just the unit. And that's why I want you to use just these. I broke Rob Porter trying to get him to understand this. He got about halfway through this list before he was like, well, I would take uh, recon and ground control. And I was like, no, Rob, (laughs) you got to ignore half of the game. I just don't pay attention to the rules. Just and uh, help me pick secondaries against Necrons and (laughs) Admac. All right. So that means that John is actually the winner of our game. Danny, how does it feel to lose? It's very unfamiliar, <laughs> especially against get, John. <laughs> get used to it. This is a new reign. Yeah, oh, probably. my reign of terror. I'm one and oh on podcast games we've made up uh, where I just yell engineers. That's fair. But hey, Dave Games. I don't care. I had it super fun. You can all bite my dick, suck my balls. <laughs> That's probably, enough of that. Yeah, that's probably that's good. That. Thank you. God, yeah. there's a lot of farting. <laughs> hey, what was our li- what was our actual list? Uh, the actual, yeah, what was actually never told that. Yeah, yeah told sorry. Us. Uh, so the actual I just lost. Was it, it like a, a chaos <laughs> demon soup list? No, no, it was it was Iron Hand because I would like it to be uh, a chaos a demon soup. Double list. iron double Iron Hand battalion with a Primaris captain, Primaris lieutenant, three uh, three by five scouts with sniper rifles, <laughs> uh, two executioners, Iron Father, Furio, so uh, a Tech Marine, three ten man tax squads. Uh, Two Thunderfire Cannons, three Mortis Auto Cannon Dreads, and three Drop Pods. Mm. Oh, okay, cool. It's actually a list I, I spoke with people about and was like, is this a, you know, is this something that you can expect to see? And they're like, yeah, that seems pretty viable. So yeah. So, so that's um, what Dave will be running. It's not, actually. I don't have any Mortis Dreadnoughts. Yes. Yes. I, Yet. I, I can Every only, Dreadnought is a only Mortis. Sells one arm. Just turn it Let upside down. Let me introduce you to the wonders. <laughs> Never mind. We can talk about oh, Forge talk World. So yeah, check. Forge World, man. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I think I have one, I've maybe. been checking eBay and stuff looking for that stuff. Yeah. I just, yeah. Everybody was well, like, we'll oh, Iron you. Hands are good. Mortis Dreadnoughts are amazing now. Yeah. And I think they are, because they're two you, damage weapons, they're long range, and they reroll ones. You just so. have to upside down, like, gangster hold one of the weapons. It's There you go. Um, yeah, it'll look really bad, but, you know, it'll be worth it in the end. That's, it's, what she, that's what I tell every lady I've ever been with. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's what you've got to do. Um, okay, uh, we're going to... just linked me the Wish website. We're going to take... <laughs> it's not, it's not it's Wish. It's really fucked up his... Uh, it's really <laughs> fucked up his, um, his search history now. Uh, I'm going to take one more break, and then we're going to be back with some more cold open auditions. Ooh. If you're a true follower of chaos, enjoy killing town scum, fry devilfish for breakfast, drink the blood of fire warriors, collect the bones of croup fodder, desecrate the cockpits of mantas with demonic sigils, sing songs of chaotic praise and joy, when berserkers chain axe over watching broadsides, hell drake bell flame shield drones into flying discs of spinning fire, and just all around bask in the path to glory, then the Shrine of Chaos podcast is a must listen for you. 
I'm Mini Wargamer Dave from MiniWargaming.com, and I invite you to be a champion of chaos. Listen to the Shrine of Chaos podcast wherever podcasts are downloadable. Thank you, Mob Rules, for allowing this message from the Eye of Terror. Oh, so 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 good, so good. Um, we have a few more auditions for people playing Iron Hands, um, but that was just great. If you could give me someone playing competitive Space Marines now, um, that's maybe not Iron Hands, maybe an Ultramarine gun line. Mm. Mm, quality, love it. Solid, solid. Yeah. Um, we're gonna do the the next audition here now, I guess, Danny. Um, let's, okay, let's yeah, pull in. Bring him in. Bring, bring, bring him in. Him in. Mm. Come on in. Hi, how's it going? Oh, great, great, fantastic. Hey, please state your name for the record. Um, for the record. Yeah, so we know who. Yeah, this, we. I mean, we're recording this, so we can listen to it later. Yeah, no. yeah. No, no, you have to speak when we ask you questions. For the record. I mean. <laughs> Jeez, so, all right, CEO. for the record, right. if that is your name, it which is. I don't think it is. First name, four, last name, record. Middle name, the. With a W. <laughs> of course. Uh, so today you're going to be reading for the role of Surf Farmer um, on an Imperial Knight Agri World. So you, right. you, you have the lines in front of you. Yes, yes um, I just do. Give us your best impression of the character. You're gonna have to speak up. The, the oh, give me a second. Reset. You're gonna have to speak up. The All right, we're gonna Sorry, we're gonna I, rewind I the exo I suit. To, I apologize. Can you um, can you can we so sweetheart? Can we move that back into the closet and then we'll. No, thank that's, you. That's, thank you. As creative director, as well, you know that's the exo the, the imperial knight walking in the farmland. Correct. That we have to speak over. Yeah. Right. I, uh, I apologize. I was trying to be as loud as I could. Um, uh, <laughs> is it okay if we do another one? No, absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> We're just, just uh, moving on. <laughs> moving on. Right. No, no, please try again. Yeah. You have, you're, you're surf farmer. Um, your cancer stricken Alzheimer's wife has just been recruited for the Imperial Guard and taken away from you. And your son is now your food. Uh, and you have to still farm the, the wheat uh from your land. And, you're just feeling real down this week. I don't see why. It seems like the perfect life, but I'll try to. I'll do my best. Think let's, of let's the medical savings. <laughs> I mean, and you won't have to eat your son nearly so fast without her eating him as well. That's true. That's true. All right. Uh, for the record, reading for role of surf in field. No, no, no! You're not surfing in a field. I'm not. Surfing. I think there's been some miscommunication here. I apologize. You're a surf in a field. S E R F F. Right. No, not S U R F F. For the record, reading for the role of surf <laughs> in the field. Excuse me, my lord. Can I get a little bit more of the pudding? No, 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 no. no that. The, the, the wife I have to left. Eat my son. <laughs> Please. No, see. So okay. That was, you were reading the part for the wife who had left. That is, that's not who I'm we're reading just, I, for. I mean, maybe I'm just not getting the character that you're no. looking for. I, I guess I feel like I was trying to be as upbeat as possible. Right. I felt very upbeat. Well, imagine that, you know, somebody has just stepped right on your dick, like real right. hard. And then take it down like it, 10 times further than that. That's how sad you are. Yes. Yeah. Can you do that? Fishing for animation cells already. Like you have it. a bionic arm that barely works. Like it what sparks kind of, when you. You know you what? This know. is some. This is. I, I can't. Especially your wife's gone now. Like high it's quality really hard. stuff that we're producing here. Yeah. Ever since that Disney bought the rights to this, so <laughs> I am. I am really impressed. Let's let's all right, let's see what we got here. How how far does so I, take got, the drum kit away? Yeah, please, please. That's for I a different it, audition. I, I apologize. I brought it in with me. That's for Mulan too. <laughs> it's for Mulan. Too. Electric boogaloo. <laughs> So uh, let's right. uh, let, let's bring in a, one of your your co stars here, so you can read against them, so you get some things. Uh, you have the bureaucracy coming down to demand their tithe. Um, so so here we go. We're we're getting ready to go. What's up, douchebag? <laughs> oh, okay. 
You're not. You're not mentally incapable. You're a farmer. <laughs> right, I mean, sorry. you're not did have any some... more mentally incapable than you yourself actually I, are. I guess I'm just having trouble envisioning the character after having been stepped on by an imperial knight. No, no, no. He was in walking the in the back. That's metaphorical. <laughs> it's, it's a metaphorical oh, it's crotch. He's stepping on you, your soul. Let's put. He's it stepping down. on your rights. As a your, slave, oh, your will to exist. All right, for the record, reading for role of Imperial Surf <laughs> in field. What's up, douchebag? Listen here, sir. I'm telling you right now, I need more gruel for mush because I had to eat my son. And this is just absolutely brother crazy. All right, yeah, that was, yeah, that, was that. that was something. Yeah, that was. I mean, does your guy not have teeth? He does not. I, I imagine. I mean, that's an interesting take. We didn't it's an actually. Interesting take. We didn't think, think about. How many yeah. serfs have teeth in the imperial? Probably not books. many. Maybe yeah. or at least Why do you not think he's real asking teeth. for mush and not like uh, nox hide or something to chew. You know, I, I don't. I don't think you're you're right. For you know what? This I, part of you surf. know what? I don't think I do either. I'm, um, I'm sorry. I'll see myself out. Let's have. Whoa! Whoa! Wait! Whoa! 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 whoa. whoa. No, come back. We're not. We no didn't one say cancels that we don't. bad segments apart from me. <laughs> Hey, is this where you're auditioning? Oh, uh, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, please come please. in. I'm, I'm here to read Wh- for some of the roles. Watch out for the drum kit. <laughs> please, we said look please. out for the drum yeah. <laughs> No, play a dainty tune. Uh, okay, so we're going to have you read for the Imperial Knight uh, pilot in peacetime. Uh, so no war, uh, and you're just kind of doing your knightly lord duties. Um, <laughs> duty. <laughs> and uh, bring up bring up FX. <laughs> John Quinnell reading for the role of night pilot. Really? Okay. <sighs> just it's so boring out here. I just wish there was anything to do. Ooh, let's stop this right here, right now. Hold on. There's a little billboard of a hot chicky poo. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you just say <laughs> cut? Cut. Did you just say chicky poo? That's what the that's what the lines say. No, it no, does. It, it does. absolutely oh, does not. Oh, I don't think right, the I, character I, of John. How did you either. How did you misread field of chickpeas to chicky poo? <laughs> I should let you know. I'm chickpeas kind of the number one uh, export for this planet. It's basically chickpea world. Oh, I'm chickpea world. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm sorry. It's I, actually chickpea five in the chickpea system. Yeah, yeah, no, no chickpea prime though. Jesus. No, no, we yeah, can't afford oh, that. Come on, dude. Obviously, yeah. obviously, you can't afford that. That's out of the budget. Um, the hummus system right, so is just buzzing. Activity. Yeah, since the eye of terror dipped its toe into the hummus sector. <laughs> huh, okay, uh, so really? I, can we go again? Then I apologize. Dip the, uh, can you reset? <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, I'd resetting. like to give it another try. Is there some notes you can give me at all? I mean, you have the script in front of you, including a well, very a complex character. Um, oh, yeah. So um, I don't know if you knew this or not, but the inhabitants of this world speak with a Canadian dialect. Okay. That's, that's yeah. They, that's, they are. It's, yeah, it's a uh, Canadian uh, place. French Canadian, to be specific. <laughs> French Canadian. Oh, God. In, in a way you know, that's I, almost I, offensive. Yeah. I mean, just really dig into it. Just yeah, like you were. That's, that's fair. I Going to be that. as offensive to a French Canadian as, as you could possibly be. Okay, I can give that a try. Uh, John Quinnell reading for the role of Imperial Knight pilot in peacetime. Okay, I guess this robot's going to walk for this character who is a completely original character. What it's in all about? Oh, I, I can't. I don't think I can do a French. Can I do? Is there an Irish? <laughs> that was is, there an Irish is there a Cockney Canadian? I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you do a Newfie accent? Oi, oi mate. What's it all about? Oh, my God. Be, I'm John Quinnell, all right. huh? All right. I think. Yeah, I'm going to get this old chicky poo. I think we've heard enough out of this guy. Yeah, yeah that's bad. that's that's pretty. Yeah. Just drew blank on, uh, on French Canadian. Yeah, sorry. You're really just not right. I don't for the think part. there are real people. So uh, well, I mean, that's true, they but don't exist. we do like to use their accent to mock, you know, this hypothetical people. I don't know. I don't yeah. know where I'm going. Hold with on. That. Maybe I can get a hold on. Uh, they have fire sicknesses, but I am the fire. <laughs> okay. I think, it's uh, Ooh, we're working on this planet there. Uh, oh, the see? Boot. That's is what I'm talking about. A boot. Oh, man. Oh, oh really? Oh, we really are nailing it right now. Je ne sais quoi. Chickpeas? Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> you nailed it. Hired. 
Yeah, you got Hired. every single part of that correct. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Uh, would you every like single me to take thing. this drum kit out of here when I leave? Yes, please. <laughs> uh, Don't it. drop it, though. Uh, I'm Don't. slipping. Oh. Oh, oh, man, that rim shot was as good as the joke. <laughs> we'll be right back. And that's what happens when we have no more ads left uh, loaded on the board. That's fine. Uh, we just <laughs> load up start the, the, show the old again. intro song. I kind of want to do a rant today, maybe two. Oh, Anybody okay. want to do some rants today? Yeah, I'm good. I'm kind of rancid so, out. So, so your yeah. character was John Cornell. I know you want to rant about shit from <laughs> earlier. That's it's become you. It's, it's I'm, unique. I'm it's unique. Chris Angel Mind Freak. Mm. <laughs> Let's not. Let's, Let's just end it here. Yeah. Right. Um. Real quick, though, there was an FAQ. Uh, the big, oh, yeah. Let's talk about that. The big minute. FAQ. We've sticked around enough with, Literally with things. Literally two things that matter in the um, uh, Rant number yeah, three. not very many at all. Rant number three, an FAQ doesn't need to be big. No. Just not like if the game John is in penis. a good place. If, if, if it works fine, size isn't important. Like it's my not, penis. It's, it's not the... It's not the size of the FAQ. It's the motion of the, <laughs> the motion FAQ in the, in the eye of, of the terror, rules. It's the motion of the eye of terror. Yeah. Yes. I don't know. It's yeah. Uh, it wasn't big. It doesn't need to be. Again, this goes back to my old Disney rant of people who were bitching. It was a small FAQ or the same people who were bitching that they have too many pieces of paper to carry with them. Um, right. so, so all the really happened. Really nice of them to give me no um, extra pieces. All the really happened. All the beta uh, match play rules are now Chad Very match nice play both. rules. Uh, there was a couple of small minor changes yep. in uh, in some of the codexes. Uh, Tau received a nice little buff via FAQ again. Yeah, where they're, where they're immune to a lot of mortal wound shooting. Yeah. Which is... Weirdly. Unless you can mortal wound without wounding. Correct. Right. Like the shock attack gun sometimes. Right. But I think at this point, the, the FAQ has probably been covered pretty well by just about everybody who does a real podcast. So oh, yeah. it feels like it's kind of just beating a dead horse at this point by the time people listen to it. So mm. man, it's beautiful to talk about this stuff while recording. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, but yeah, like I said, it's I mainly wanted to just touch on the fact that it doesn't need to be a big FAQ every time. If everything is okay. And honestly, I think the game's in a good place right now. It's, I agree. It's, and that's coming from a guy who's not playing Marines. It is. And like I said, Marine are Marines powerful. Yeah. Am I going to have to adjust my army and how I play? Yeah. I mean, but that's really the point of you have to play these min- for miniature time. war games, right? We play these miniature war games um, not to play the same army against the same opponent playing the same army the same way every year or every time we play. That, not all of us can gets, be Danny, just for the that record. Gets, that gets boring really quickly. So having to adjust our tactics, having to grow, having to change, it's all part of it. And, I mean, this is nowhere near like a Warhammer Fantasy Battle Chaos Demon Codex. Oh, yeah. That's or true. Or an army book where it, that literally did break the game. Um, so Isn't that what Sigmar did? No, well, they yeah, they had to do an entire new edition because the Demon Book was too well, powerful. No, not in that edition. That was 7th edition. And then 8th edition came out for Fantasy. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, 8th edition was the last edition of Warhammer Fantasy Battle. So think about that for a second. Yeah. Oh, shit, we're about to get Sigmar <laughs> up in here. Age of Middle Eastern Shaman Child. Yeah. <laughs> I think is the current working title for yeah. it. I heard that, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I heard that. So therefore, For the Empress. True. For the Empress. For the Empress. <laughs> All right. Let's wrap this up. Yeah. Guys. Somebody's um, got places to be. Do you though? Speaking of which, my mom's expecting you, Danny. So oh, yeah. Sure okay. Well, yeah, yeah. Let her know. Danny has well, I'm definitely not going to gonna shower. Um, she wouldn't expect anything else. I know. Yeah. <laughs> she <laughs> likes it. <laughs> she likes it stank. She likes some stink in the pink. Let's put it that stank way. Stank in the pink. <laughs> like, what a great way to fucking end this 40K <laughs> podcast. Jesus. Um, via mom fuckery. There were and two stinky. K's on the end of that stank and pink. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, it's your mom. So, st- so skank works out too pretty good. Yeah. Oh. All right. Yeah. Well, fuck, I'm, I've lost the will to record at this point. <laughs> yeah. um, we're just going to wrap it up. We'll be back in two weeks, maybe. Shit, I don't know at this no, point. Probably, probably not after this. <laughs> um, but for Mob Rules, I've been John. I've been Danny. And I've been Dave. And fuck, yeah. Yeah. <laughs>